All right, so I'm back out here again working on this old box today. Uh, got a little bit done on it. I got all the felt, took out of the drawers. Here it is over in the trash can. Um, I did massage that little wave out of the top of it, so now it doesn't bind anymore. And then I got um, that fit down in there and slide instead of what it was doing the other day where it was catching on that and catching on that so got a little bit done on it I got my knob cleaned up I put clear coat on it you know it's, it's rough a little bit pitted but eh, looks good enough but uh yeah about to start, uh, I've got to try to get the penetrating oil off of that hinge, and then I got to do the task of cleaning that up, and I'm not looking forward to that. But the actual outside, you know, it's surface rust, nothing too major. I still got to try to work on that sticker. I have a few ideas. I think I'm gonna um, sand around it and clear coat it, and then that way when I mask it off, it won't lift. Because I think it's made out of paper. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's made out of paper. I might do that before I get that hinge degreased because I'm probably going to have to use water to get that you know get it clean and dry and I'd hate to get water on that and ruin it and on my paper that I took out I cut it in half so I could lift it off a little bit better so you know I'll just have to put it back together and then I'm gonna try to where it's still lift on. I'm gonna try to tape that up <clears throat> best as I can. And save that. But we'll have to see. So that's what I've gotten so far, so I'll, I'll be back with some more. Alright, I got all my latches and my handle all blasted, so about to dust a little bit of paint on them. I think I'm going to paint the latches, <clears throat> I think I'm going to paint them silver, and then I'll paint the handle, I think I'll paint the handle black, so I think it'll look pretty good. Nice color contrast, you know, so I'm going to get started on this. Alright, so here's what I've got so far. I just decided to go ahead and tape it up so I don't get um, clear coat on my uh, uh, surface so I don't have to sand off, you know, new paint. Because ain't nothing no harder than sanding off new paint. I'm just gonna spray a little bit on there. Put that tack up, put a little bit more, and, and that's already, I mean, you look at that, that's already liven that sucker up a lot. So, I'm going to do this a couple more times, take the tape off, and then be ready to move on to the rest of it. I'll be back. Alright, so, this is going to be a community vote for me first time on the channel so on this box we have some colors to choose from we got black we've got off-white we've got light gray we got dark gray we got baby blue we got dark blue and we got yellow why did I choose these colors well it's because I have a lot of them I've got 
four case of this, four case of this, three cans of this, four case of that, four case of that, almost a four case of that, and a four case of that. Now that's not gloss, that's semi-gloss, and that's semi-gloss. So out of those colors, what do you guys think will look the best on this whole box? Now I need to have an answer within at least a couple days of posting this video because chances are I'm going to be moving right along with this pretty quick. So I need, you know, anybody that's watching this video, leave a comment. Tell me which color you think would look best. Me personally, my favorite three of this lineup, the yellow, the blue, and the gray. But, you know, what colors here do you think look better on this box? It's up to you. So, I want to hear you guys' feedback on this. Because I have enough paint here to paint probably two of these boxes. Any one of those colors. So, I want to hear, I want to hear a comment back. Alright, let's continue on with the video. Alright, I've been picking away at this thing a little bit more. I've got all the drawers. Um, pretty much got all the felt chewed out except for, you know, in the corners. Which, I'm about to work on that now with a Dremel tool. Try to get that felt off. Um, I got the top of the box. Most of the felt's out except for right there in that corner. But it's, it's mostly just loose dust. Those are the other drawers. Cleaning up pretty good. It ain't gonna take much. You know, really, I'm just gonna chuck them in the blaster just to get the, you know, the knob and the face mainly. And you know, the blast corners out. Blast out right in there where it's rusty, both sides. It wasn't terrible, you know, but. It wouldn't have held up too good outside in the weather. I've got my latches. I've got two coats of silver and one coat of clear. The clear coat's just more of a make it shiny than, it, than anything else. And then there's the handle. I got it in that matte black. But I'm probably going to clear coat it. I don't know yet. I'm still thinking about it. So whenever it fully dries, I'll probably shoot some clear on it. And right now I'm about to finish up these drawers. I might even try to sandblast them today. I don't know. The box, though, it's going to take a little bit more uh, work. Still got to try to degrease that hinge. I'm probably going to use wax and grease remover just so I don't have to you know, clean it up and get get it wet because I really don't want to get it wet. So I'll probably just use wax and grease remover once I get the dust out. And just brush that hinge, get that oil residue off front and back because there's not really any grease anywhere else on it other than that. So once I get that off, it should shouldn't be no problem. And then. I would sandblast it, but I don't. I can't get these out. I could, but I don't really want to. And I don't really want sand getting up in there. That's going to really, really screw it up. This one, I sandblasted it. And I was able to take the tracks out, of course. Because they got the clips. I was able to take those out. So it really wasn't a big deal. And even doing that, it still got sand in there and screwed it up this cabinet here is sort of the reverse of that one this one has this style where the other one has this on the drawer and this in the track if that makes any sense I'll show you see it's sort of kind of like the uh, it's kind of like the slide 
It's got the flange edge. A little cheaper, probably, this one is than the Kennedy. But I like the Kennedy's better for a lot of reasons. But I mean, if I can make this one even half of what this little box is over here. I'll have a pretty good box. So it already is a good box. Like I could have easily fixed the hinge, oiled up the tracks, and used it, you know. But I want to make it nice. Especially since it's gonna be kind of taking the elements of dampness and moisture. It's just gonna rust more, you know get thinner you can't see it but underneath of this is a little bit a little bit worse a little bit pitted up so especially these drawers when you can look in there you can see that rust like that's not terrible but give it 10 15 years and that'll be almost through so especially with that felt I'm not going back with that felt I thought about it, but I'm just going to get that more modern foam, cut little squares out, put it in there and be done with it. Just like I did that one. So, I've still got to do that one this way. Put the, put the foam in it. I ain't done that yet, but, you know. Also, I haven't restored this yet. Mostly because where I've got it at, I can't put the lid on it. The lid's up there can't put the lid on it so I can't really use it like I would like to so until I get somewhere better to put it this is basically how it's gonna look so with this one I got a place to put it and technically I could have put this one over where I'm gonna put this one and put this one in here but eh, that one's got a lot of big stuff in it that wouldn't fit in here so best thing to do is just leave this one here put this in where I'm gonna put it but I clear coated that um, over so hopefully now I can take this and it won't peel off that's the plan that's the reason I clear coated it give it a little bit more strength a little bit more durability I'm probably gonna go smaller just a little bit to kind of cover that edge up better but uh anyway that's probably what I'm going to do and I just remember something else for any of you people out there going to vote on the color or not really vote but send me a comment saying hey I want it you need to paint it blue or you need to paint it brown or not brown gray or whatever there's another color i forgot i had and i painted this vice with it i don't know if you guys can see it it's sort of a metallic blue i've got a couple cans of that stuff left too so throw that on there too so if any of you guys want want me to paint it a certain color just leave me a comment saying the color you don't have to tell me anything to say the color yellow dark blue light blue dark gray light gray off white or just white because i know what it is or um metallic blue and i changed my mind no black we're not going to do we're not doing black because i've already painted that black so it's enough black and i could also do two-tone colors such as i could paint the drawers one color because, I mean, it's going to be in this void here. I could paint the drawers a color, and I could paint that piece there a color. So I could do, say, you know, blue on the box, and then gray on the drawers and the face, or, you know, I could do this metallic blue, and an off-white, that would look pretty good, you know. So just leave me a comment saying... What you guys think about that, and I'll see what I can do, because I don't have time to paint it yet. It's 
we're gonna be getting some rain here next couple days so I'm gonna have time to think about it but for sure I'm definitely gonna try to get these drawers at least in primer today I'm not gonna be able to paint them of course till I hear you what you guys think so two-tone no two-tone and if you want it two-toned tell me the colors if you don't want it two tone, just tell me the color. And I'll take my creativeness from there. But, uh, because I really can't think. I mean, I have all kinds of ideas. So, you know, I've also thought about doing it black, black drawers, black face with a blue box. I've thought about doing it black drawers, black place with that gray. I've thought about doing it, um, just multiple options for painting this whole thing up making it look good so just tell me what you guys think so i'm gonna keep picking away at it all right so got all the drawers blasted out not terrible i just kind of blasted at that i didn't really go at it too hard same thing goes for the bottom. I just kind of hit it a little bit to rough it up. But I, where I really went at on that was the fronts and around that knob. The main, what you going to see. That's what I really, you know, took the time to blast. But I'm going to lay some primer on these things. And uh, that'll be it for this video. So, let me get to priming them, and I'll be back. All right, well, got them all in the primer. I'm all hanging in here in the warmth to dry. There's the other, other three. And there's a the box down there. I guess next video, if you guys haven't decided the color, or told me a color then I'm gonna go ahead and just probably go with that gray so you know that's gonna be the default color if no one chooses anything so hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video bye